Hello everyone, it's Richard here. In this video, I wanted to go over a concept, an idea that I've had for some time, but just wanted to give you an idea of the next step that we might take on filament spool, manufacturing and delivery to customers and users all around the world. So the basic idea is that you start with a master spool that you either print yourself or you buy, and this is a two piece spool kit, and then you buy filament refills that don't contain any other packaging about other than the very bare minimum that you need just to ship you the raw coil of filament. You use that on your master spool and away you go. You don't need to keep shipping lots of plastic spools around, you don't need to recycle them, you just have a number of these that you load in with your filament, you use it and away you go. At the end of it you don't have a spool to recycle because you're going to use your master spool again and manufacturers are just going to ship you a roll of filament. So Let's talk a little bit more about this because it's not as plain and straightforward and easy to do as you might may think, but we may be able to convince a few manufacturers to do something like this and reduce the need for plastic spools or even any other types of spools shipping them around the world. So where we are at the moment, manufacturers tend to ship everything on a plastic spool. Now, these tend to be, some of them are recyclable, but they're quite heavy. They're 260, 270 grams worth of plastic that you're not gonna use. You're gonna have to recycle it at the end of its um, life. And you get lots and lots of these every time you buy 750 grams worth of material and you get almost 300 grams worth of plastic spool that you're paying for shipping to come to you just for convenience. So, We've seen a lot of manufacturers moving to cardboard spools, and that's great. We've got Form Futura refill that you can now uh, buy on a cardboard spool. And these spools are less than 200 grams, these cardboard spools. They can all be recycled, and they're a lot less um, weight to ship around. Protopasta have been doing this for some time. Again, their spools under 200 grams and fully recyclable cardboard spool. But what about if we had our own master spool that we could either 3D print out, this one was printed on the Lulzbot Taz 6, and you could make one that could print out on your size 3D printer. It has a simple screw thread that goes together and attaches after you've pushed on your roll of um, raw filament. Okay, the original idea from that was from Dingo Boy 71 who had a very small two-piece filament spool on Thingiverse, uh, much, much smaller than this, and I've adapted the design and basically remade it, remade the idea into a, a larger full-size two-piece spool that you could use for um, 750 grams or one kilograms worth of 3D printing filament. So what we have to do now is convince manufacturers that First of all, that they can actually produce a spool like this, which is going to be quite difficult. They're going to have to set up a, a jig to be able to cast the spool into a, uh, a coil. I've got this put together with just a piece of cardboard on the back. It's got some color, color fab branding. That was just to get the, the point and the message across, really, to some of these manufacturers that they could still brand the spools up as they wished, um, have all the information printed on a simple cardboard, a uh, very thin cardboard um, outer that was just holding the spool in place, and some tie wraps. The idea here is then that you get your you get your roll of filament, you just push that straight onto your spool, like so, and then you screw on your other side, do that up tight. You can still have branding through the through the um, uh, holes in the spool and everything else. And then you snip the tie wraps and that allows you to start using your spool in your 3D printer. Uh, you can even pull the cardboard out, but actually nothing wrong with it being in there for branding and remembering what material you've actually got loaded onto your master spool. Then when it's finished, you just undo. You won't have any spool, you won't have any material left in the ends. So there's nothing to throw away or recycle or get rid of. And you just buy another roll of um, filament from manufacturers. What we'd need to do is decide, define the dimensions of this spool so it would fit onto a master spool standard and hopefully maybe convince more manufacturers to adopt this type of method for shipping material around the world. It may save on packaging, shipping, it should save on, save on shipping costs because you're only shipping 750 grams of material rather than 
another to almost 300 grams on top of that of a spool. And of course we can pr print our own spools then as users this model file can be shared and modified as, as needed to fit on different size 3D printers and everything else. So that's the idea of Master Spool. And really the next step now is to try and engage with some manufacturers to see if this is possible, if they could actually set up a production line where they could coil this, probably using a form that they then take off uh, after they've put the tie wraps in place so then they could actually ship these out to people. If that's at all possible there may be a manufacturer out there of 3D printing filament that would be prepared to actually trial this uh, and give it a go or even promote it as a standard that they define. You know the first person to do this and produce a master spool standard is going to be in a good position because then the rest of the market will eventually have to follow I would say because as users we want a convenient easy way to be able to load filament onto our machines um, and this is the simplest way I can think of. You just push this in and it takes, doesn't take very long to, to actually load up a master spool and away you're ready to go. You just snip the, snip the tie wraps and you can start using it straight away in your machine. There's nothing left at the end to throw away or have to waste. So I think this is a really good idea. If you agree then try to talk to some of your filament manufacturers that you deal with and see what sort of problems they come back with because this won't be straightforward. There will be some issues with manufacturing but surely it's a good idea to at least talk and have a bit more of a conversation about this type of thing. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time.